In this video, I am going to show you how to extract audio from video. And we are going to use Audacity, which is a free and open source software and probably the best for manipulating audio and videos. Normally, it is considered as an audio tool, but if you want to separate only audio from a video, you can also do that in Audacity. Why you want to do that? That I will explain at the end of this video because you clicked on this video because you want to know how to extract audio from video. So first I explain this and then I will show you what could be the reasons why you might want to do that. So without further ado, let's get started after a short break. Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Tahir and I make videos about various applications and software mostly about educational technology. So I would highly appreciate if you hit the subscribe button and also the notification bell to get notified whenever I post a new video on this channel. So I hope that you already know about Audacity and you have installed this on your computer. If not, you can simply type Audacity in Google and you will reach on this website and you can download Audacity. Now I have opened this software and this is my file explorer in which I have one video as an example. And extracting audio from this video is very simple in Audacity. You simply drag and drop in this area. If you have recently installed Audacity, then you will see this message. And what this message is saying is that you have to add a library to Audacity in order for you to extract audio from a video. And that library is called FFmpeg. And the message is saying that without FFmpeg, Audacity is unable to open this file. And if you have installed that library, then you will simply get the audio opened in this Audacity, which you can export as an MP3 file and you are done. So it's a very simple process. You simply have to drag and drop your video and you will get the audio. Now let's see how you can install FFmpeg. And we don't want to install from a spammy website. So let us ask Audacity from where should we install this library. Now what I need to do is I click on edit and at the very end we have this preferences. I click on that and on the left hand side I have to click on this libraries and I can see this message FFmpeg library not found and then there are two buttons locate and download. So we should first click on this download so that we only go to the authentic website. So I click on this download and it will open this page. On this page I click on installing FFmpeg and now we are on Audacity website. On this website, there is a link lame.buenzo.org and because this link is on Audacity website, so we can trust this link. So I click on that and I reach on this page and my operating system is Windows. So I am using Audacity on PC. So I click on this 64 bit Windows and then you save this on any convenient location. So I'm saving this on my desktop and it will just take few seconds and now I get this file on my desktop. I click on that, accept the licensing terms, click next and click install. And finally finish installation. And after the installation, when I open my Audacity and I try to put my video, let us close this. As you can see that I directly got the audio extracted from my video. And if you don't see this and you have some problem, I'm going to show you how you can solve that problem because some users, they will see that FFmpeg is still not found. So I'm going to show you in a minute, but in my case, it automatically detected this. And now what I can do is I got this audio from my video and I want to save this as an MP3 file, as an audio file. To do that, I click on file and then I click on export and on the right hand side, I can export as mp3 file, web file, wav file or I can also export audio or I can also export audio. So these are the three different options. So I want to export as an mp3 file. So I click on that and I can change the name if I want. Otherwise it will be saved in the same folder with mp3 file. Simply click save and click OK and you will see this progress bar and within few seconds the audio file will be saved. So let us see if you don't get this audio straight away and you see the same message that we got in the beginning of this video. So let me open this again 
as you can see that in my case the library is there and there is a library version but if you see any error here library could not be found then now you have to click on locate previously we clicked on download now we click on locate you will not see this message because it says that you want to locate again so i click yes and you will only see this area where you can browse so you click on browse the file will be in your program files directory which is normally in c directory and in this program files directory you will look for a folder ffmpeg for audacity so this is the folder you click on that and as you can see here that by default that the software is expecting this type of file and we have this file in this folder you click on that and you click on open and this will solve your problem i am going to cancel this so what if this also does not solve your problem then remember one thing that whenever you are using any open source software and you are facing some errors which you should not face the best solution is that you reinstall the software so when the first time i use this library it did not work even after i located properly i downloaded installed everything but then i uninstalled audacity and reinstalled and it worked it automatically detected my ffmpeg and everything worked fine so this is how you can install this library and now you simply drag and drop and get the audio from a video now we come to the important question what are some of the reasons why you would like to extract audio from a video i have listed this on this screen you can pause the video and you can note but basically sometimes you only want audio not the video for example you want to create a podcast from any video because nowadays many youtubers they are making podcasts from their videos as well and putting on various platforms to get some extra income sometimes you want to get the transcript of the video and sometimes you want to translate that transcript so you need to get the transcript first in your original language then you translate it into any other language so you can translate the text obtained from the audio and sometimes you want to get the subtitles so there is a difference between a simple transcript and the subtitle and the difference is that in subtitles you also get the time stamp when you speak something so why we want subtitles because in order to extend your audience for example if you are a youtuber like myself i sometimes upload subtitles in more than one languages on my videos now the final and most important reason that i am considering right now about my videos is that i want to dub my videos in other languages to grow my audience and if you want to dub then you first have to get the subtitles in original language in my case it is english then i will translate that to any other language for example hindi and then i will use a text to speech software to convert that subtitle to audio and then i will put that audio track in my video and that can be done in any video editing software so i will be making separate videos for these steps if you are interested in how to dub your videos or how to translate your transcript and what are the issues involved in that then you should subscribe to my channel and wait for the next videos we are expecting that soon youtube will allow us to add more than one audio tracks to our videos and when someone from some other language will try to watch our video the audio of the video will be played in that particular language and that would be fantastic and that will help us grow our audience and we are looking forward to youtube to allow us to add more than one audio tracks to our videos with this i end this video thanks for watching and see you next time